All right, so 2006 Prius HID headlight change because Toyota sucks and doesn't back up their product. They only run about 20,000 miles, probably only about 10,000 miles at night um, when they should be doing about 130,000 miles uh, at night, 3,000 hours of run time. Um, they're getting uh, somewhere six times le uh, less or, or worse. Um, so anyway, what we've done so far is taken out these little Phillips head clips or whatever they are. That went in here, one there, one there, and there, and there. Just back up so you can see where they came out of there. Again, one, two, three four and five way up in the corner here um, next up I'm gonna be taking out these little clips right there I already have this one popped out there's another one that's in and there it is there um, I'm assuming we're gonna have to take out these things whatever they are um, I'll do one and then get back to you on that. Okay, I just thought of something else I did before I started. I went and took the uh, fuse box cover off the fuse box. I guess that's going to have to be taken off anyway. And I'm using it to put the bolts in. Alright, so I just removed all of the uh, stuff. For this top plastic piece and this uh, piece, uh, this white strip here on the front of the uh, black plastic piece you have to remove. Um, you have these little clips right here. They go here, one here, and one right here. And the other ones are these little numbers here, right here, and then here, and the other one, oh, there's still one there. So after you have all these off, and I missed one of those screws, um, what is it called here? Phillips head clip or something. Um, one was on the very top there. Uh, so, take this piece off. Plastic. And I'll pop that, pull this off. Pull that piece off right here. Um, and uh, after that, I'll see what the next step is. Yay, Toyota. So, right now I got the car up on blocks, um, and we're underneath the car right now, looking at what uh, we're going to need here. Hold on, I'm going to change this. Anyway, so <laughs> underneath the car, right? <laughs> Need to take off this front plastic piece right here. It's about a foot long. There's four screws in the back, I believe a nine, nine total. on the front and then there's some hidden ones and once I get some of this stuff off I'll show you it. once this is off the bumper should just come off nicely and then expose the um, headlights or the headlight case and uh, the fog lights and the fog lights need to be disconnected before you pull the, the bumper off uh, 
Yeah, so and that's just a little clip that you just disconnect before the you pull the bumper all the way off. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what the hell, it's still recording, all right. So, I just got done taking the nine screws. Um, nine screws. These bad boys right here. Nine of them. And, uh... Try to get a frame of reference of where I'm at here. It's kind of tight quarters. We're gonna go under. And these screws were connected to the rest of the plastic pieces. So I'm gonna put them back and make sure to get all the holes lined up. Alright. Alright. I have taking the screws off this bottom plate I'm on the passenger side aiming towards the uh, driver's side this thing's only about a foot long runs most of the width of the car basically underneath the fog lights I just wanna see how these clips go in there there's some white clips behind here they're not really clips they're what get screwed in and then go above the front piece here. Alright, pulling this out. Uh, see where we go from there. Alright. I moved the uh, that, that piece out of here and it exposed one, two, uh, uh, three more bolts um, there might be yeah just three more bolts and then I believe we'll be able to take the bumper off we'll see oh there's some on the uh, you're gonna have to get that one too right there um, right by the wheel well on each side, I would assume. Okay. Fuck. For the love of God. <laughs> Those three bolts took off just one more plastic piece. Um, it loosened pieces of the bumper here too. Uh, so. Just, uh, it's a plastic piece that has all the curb scuffs when you go too far up into a parking spot. So, um, those three are gone. Remove the two on the side by the wheel wells now, and hopefully then I'll be able to get this goddamn piece of plastic off. All right. I was getting irritated because I missed some screws, but I finally found where the bastards were. Good frame of reference for a hat. They're at about, I suppose, 11 or on the other side, 1 o'clock. And the bumper's off right here, kind of. Just let's see if I can get a good shot. There we go. Bumper's kind of hanging here because I took the screw off. That was like right in there. So about at 11 and 1 o'clock on the passenger side, you'll find it right above the tire. And they are little, looks like they're galvanized screws with Phillips on them. Everything nice and organized by each other.